All right, so what we're looking at here is a uh, 2006 Ninja 650. <clears throat> Not much left of the stock bike here, but uh, it's the uh, Galaxy Silver original paint on the tank and uh, the persimmon red frame. Basically, I'm going to try to remember everything that's been done to it. Do a little walk around of it. At this point, it's been turned into somewhat of a street fighter. I know a lot of street fighter guys say it's not a true street fighter because it's got a super sport style tail, but honestly, I think it looks better. So, <clears throat> Alright, I guess to start with, we're looking at uh, Woodcraft Race Rear Sets, which uh, have completely eliminated the stock cast iron behemoths. <clears throat> They're set up in the, uh, the lower of the two positions. Uh, Leo Vinci aluminum SBK exhaust. It does have a silencer included, but I don't have it installed right now because it sounds a lot better without it. Uh, this is the uh, ER6N belly pan, which uh, required a few brackets from the ER6N. I had it painted Galaxy Silver to match. Uh, we got the uh, Cox Racing radiator guard on the radiator since it's exposed now. You can see the overflow tank I painted black with. Uh, kind of a sight glass line left off. Um, basically stock uh, front suspension, stock brakes front and rear. Uh, there are some swing arm spools on the rear. <coughs> and uh, for the headlight, this is actually from a, uh, I think it's called a Honda Sonic. Uh, some kind of Honda underbone motorcycle they make overseas. Um, came up with kind of a custom mounting job. Uh, uses some P-clamps and some aluminum bar stock and I had the shroud painted galaxy silver to match the, the rest of the bike so this is pretty uh, one-off. You're not going to see this anywhere else. Uh, the tail is the Catalyst Racing Composites tail with the integrated turn signal tail light so that flashes half amber for you whichever direction your uh, blinker set. It's got the included undertail uh, relocated to license plate to the battery box. The seat is a scratch built seat made from a 636 saddle. It's like some plastic and heat formed it. It's attached with velcro. So it's pretty solid. It's actually pretty darn comfortable. So there's a there's this tank protector of course. Uh, bars are LSL Superbike low bars. They're, they're actually significantly lower than the stock bars, but since I have another super sport bike, I didn't want to put clip-ons back on here, so I got rid of that setup when I sold my race fairings. And uh, coastal mirrors look good. They're a little bit uh, they're a little bit wobbly, but what do you expect with something that inexpensive? But they do go really well with the bike. So. Oh, the headlight functions. It's got dual beams. Uh, normal beam is on the top, high beam is on the bottom. It's aimed a little higher. And uh, the turn signals are integrated with the, uh, the fairing there. So, If ever there was a one of a kind Ninja 650R Street Fighter, that is it.